Blessings, everyone. Welcome back to Kyle's Cavern. I really do hope that you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are feeling well. I know this has been a long time. Uh, I had to do some things uh, in my personal life, uh, but definitely I want to incorporate you guys into it more. I want you guys to be more present with me more. I did get a ring light, as you can see, so you guys can see me more and uh, clearer. I do want to get a mic eventually for, um, you know, doing videos outside because the wind is very horrible on um, iPhones. It really catches a lot, but happy Tuesday. Today's color is white and the moon right now is in Capricorn. So if you guys are, have been feeling that strawberry moon, that full moon that we just had this past weekend, um, this full moon has been telling us all to start, you know, chipping away at things that may have held us back. We need to be able to spring forward up and uh, up into the next alignment of planet phases. But yet again, we need to still maintain that same endurance from this past full moon. We definitely have to get more grounded, I think, because as we know, Capricorn energy is very, you know, if you are an earth sign, getting yourself grounded is probably it's good for everyone but really uh, if you want to talk water signs if you like water definitely meditate in the shower meditate in the bath um uh fire signs definitely um sun gaze with you know spf and sunglasses but or enjoy fire like enjoy being around a bonfire or like candles for fire signs an air sign definitely sense air um breathing because you know if we don't get water or air, we die. So you know, make sure that you're properly breathing and doing breathing techniques to really help. Um, you can do your fire breaths. That really helps with your, helps with your chi. So even if you're a fire sign too, you can work with your uh, work on your fire breaths. So just like at this time right now, I think we all. Well, first the EMF has picked up a lot lately, so that means that a lot of negative radiation radiation that goes against the human body is being you know widely you know it, it's only increasing that are happening globally it's time for us to protect ourselves so if you guys don't have shungite or black tourmaline or copper that really helps with blocking emf because we're with our phones all day and they give off our phones give off a lot of EMF and a lot of radiation. If you sleep with your phone too, that's really not good. I am one of those people who sleep with their phones, sleep with their phones a lot. So um, I tend to wear my black tourmaline or shungite when I go to sleep because it really does help to protect yourself. You really wanna make sure that you are protected from those type of energies because they really can drain you. I have really been in places where the EMF energy has really drained the life out of me and you know I had to go home and recharge and you know like either go to sleep or like do some some like listen to some music or like something to raise my vibrations up like be by myself because I feel like I need to be alone for me to raise my vibrations up again so I can start you know just less stressful moment stress speaking on the lines of stress um, this video basically is gonna be like a check-in video for you guys if you guys have any questions or video suggestions please leave them in the comment section below I am always looking at them and I'm always uh, commenting back or liking so uh, if you have any suggestions please leave them down below stress if you are feeling stress um, you can definitely use the elements to help you with your stress so if you are probably overthinking a lot I would recommend getting some fresh air because that has to do with the mind anything that has to do like as air signs rule the mind so if you find yourself overthinking you probably may need to step away from what you're doing for a moment which is okay and go get some air uh, go walk in a park or something you know just let the wind hit you you know, just, 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 just get outside. If you're feeling unsafe, if you're feeling or living situations are unstable or you just feel like operating in a more fearful energy, you may need to get yourself grounded. So um, definitely go touch a tree, go and if you can, go put your feet in the grass. I know that it's hard for me to put my feet in the grass. So um, I usually just touch trees because my skin just gets really sensitive to grass for some reason. If you have a clear quartz point, you can actually sit the point on your forehead, put that clear quartz over your 
third eye for a moment and just focus, really meditate, focus on where you want to send that headache and send it into the crystal and out through the point. And that works usually every time uh, when it comes to headaches. And so yeah, if you're feeling ungrounded, yeah, definitely go touch a tree. Um, if you have crystals around, if you're feeling ungrounded, definitely work with grounding stones. So you can work with either jasper, jasper, you can work with obsidian, you can work with black tourmaline, you can work with shungite, you can work with hematite. That's really grounding. Um, it said that hematite is actually closely related to our core, the core of our planet. But definitely, if you're feeling those energies of feeling unsafe and feeling ungrounded, you probably have to get yourself grounded. And um, go spend time in nature. Go for a nature walk. Seeing the green is actually scientifically proven to help relieve stress. So go out and you know look at some trees, go for a walk. If you're feeling emotional, drink some water. Drink some water. So that really does help calm yourself down you know, um, drink some water, cool off. Um, the water does really help. Water is very, very healing. Definitely make sure that you are drinking your water and also you're keeping yourself hydra hydrated as well. And uh, to help with stress, um, with uh, getting grounded uh, with your water, you can also put shungite in your water. Uh, make sure it's elite shungite and start off small, probably the size of a quarter and then like the, uh, the Shanghai piece should be about the size of a quarter before you just plop it in your water. Make sure it's a really good quality piece of Shanghai because Shanghai really helps. It's, it's mostly carbon, it's not a crystal basically. So um, it really helps to get those minerals into your body. And yeah, just start off small. Uh, don't get the, don't use the ones that are like splintery and, um, like very like in its raw form probably get one that's smooth and tumbled because you don't want those fibers to be floating in, in your water and you know getting your throat and stuff uh, get yourselves grounded everyone should be getting themselves grounded even myself I'm wanting to do youtube a lot more uh, this year because i have definitely been mistreating you guys and mistreating youtube and not posting as often you shouldn't gather some new equipment because it was looking at, it was looking a bit tragic before I, I hope you guys are really having an awesome awesome day i really hope that you guys are taking the time to breathe don't forget to breathe out your stress it really does help breathe breathe just take a deep breath inhale 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 and then exhale 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 um just take your time and yeah and thinking of that real fast about taking your time People ask sometimes if it's too late to start rituals on certain moon phases or anything like that. It's never too late. It's never ever too late. It's only when some of us may give, if any reader gives you or anybody that knows astrology gives you what's going on, astrological wise or planetary wise with the celestial bodies, they're only giving you information to kind of like, it's almost like a um, confirmation. Like it's almost just like, cause these are things that we think about, honestly, as human beings, everyone has these thoughts, everyone has these, um, these moments of feeling like their world is coming apart around them. And that's not the case, it's never the case. And I think, cause we forget to breathe sometimes, I think that we forget to calm ourselves down and um, I think in one of my videos, I say that sometimes um, either wearing your, wearing like certain protection pr protects you from you. So it's just like you do like your own personal, like it's like you're doing your own personal like exorcism. Because it's just like you're just making sure that you're like, you know, your demons and your energies are far away from those lower energies are far away from you as possible. And you keep, you keep yourself in more so of that uh, Jedi mindset in more so of that you know it's it's sometimes i know i know stress can really take it out of everyone and we really just could just you know it's it's one of those things but we have as human beings we have to learn how to adapt to our surroundings also we need to learn how to make sure that everyone else is doing what they love to do with their life and encouraging them to be them be, be the best of themselves like we shouldn't be encouraging 
each other to do better. And I feel like if um, you're finding yourself being around people who may be doubting themselves or either doubting you, you may have to, first off, if, if you're okay with not feeling that, that's perfectly fine with not feeling like you have to people please because no one should have to people please anyone. Very toxic behavior because you end up doing that to situations and circumstances that don't require that energy. And we have to make sure that we are steadfast during this time and um, learning how to take care of ourselves. Um, I actually, if you guys don't know off topic, but I did um, find some mushrooms recently. I found some chicken of the woods in my front yard and I'm actually pretty good. They're, I think they're a little bit young, but they were pretty good for what they were. I actually froze a few of them. There, I left like the whole the rest of the of the. I left the rest of the fungi on the tree because, um, you know, just for nature's purposes, I don't over forage if uh, at all. You actually, you never should over forage. Um, for uh, another time because it will grow back. But um, I did find some mushrooms. I cooked them up with some butter. They were actually pretty good. I do recommend Chicken of the Woods for anybody who is looking to go vegan or looking for a meat alternative and it, you can kind of because i i know i'll i'm always in the woods but lucky enough found uh those in my, my front yard so also i found some morels on in my backyard so just like, go out into nature more i love listening to birds often too if you guys have a special bird that connects to you as well like a spirit bird often either the crow calls to me a lot because those are more local here in uh, Illinois. The crows, they call to me a lot. The crows are very um, wise. And I feel like when, some, when I hear them, or like when I like know that they're around, I'm like, okay, it's like, it's, it's, like, it's usually like it's time to wise up. Like, sorry about that guys. But yes, crows are very wise birds. So don't get scared if you hear them sometimes. Like don't get spooked. Um, they are, good omens usually a lot of the time so um humans we need to stop focusing on the negative things and start focus stop focusing on things that we don't want and start focusing on things that we do want that will attract like a moth to a flame channel i think um i i'm posting a lot more please bear with me guys um i am working on it I'm working on the content, so please keep, you know, me on your thoughts because I have not forgot about you guys. Really do hope that you guys are having an awesome, awesome Tuesday. The sun came back out, but definitely go outside, get some air. We are in the age of Aquarius. This is also the, known as the diamond age that we're in, so we put our feet to the metal and really show up for ourselves and make sure that we're doing that every single day. So it doesn't matter what it is. Um, it's time for old habits to die so that you can make way for new things. As beings that have DNA surrounded by water, we have to be adaptable. We have to be very, very adaptable in this life. So that's safe for you right now because I'm actually gonna do another video. So please stay tuned and i will see you guys in the next video coming up so bye guys